Good morning, this is Wayne Bilal with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. Here's Tessie, she keeps growing and growing. <laughs> she's not gonna be that big, but she's a little over four months, so she's, a, she's our office dog. She welcomes everybody. Never met a stranger. She's had a spoiled life. I'll let you down, go ahead. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about making sure you measure all, that you only do advertising you can measure. And it's really that simple. But before we do, let me do a better job introducing myself. My name is Wayne Bilal. I'm the founder of a CPA firm in El Paso, Texas. This is our 28th year, actually, so I've been doing this a long time. As a certificate on the back wall shows, I've been doing it longer than that. I passed the CPA exam in 77, started working in CPA firms, 77, 78? 77, my bad. <laughs> started working in CPA firms in 75 as my sophomore in college. Uh, been pretty much working with small businesses the whole time. Uh, except for a six year period where I was first the comptroller then chief financial officer for a local bottling company. Um, we focus on our firm for th with three, f da -da 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 -da. focus on three things. All right, first, helping our business owners make more money. That's part of the reason for these profit moments. We also have some uh, courses and videos and we do coaching, obviously. Second thing we do is tax planning. We're heading right into tax planning season. All right, um, seriously, um, the last three years alone, we helped our clients save over $4.3 million, which is money that they could use for whatever they wanted because they didn't send it to the IRS. <laughs> okay, simple as that. Imagine what you can do with an extra twenty, forty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 or more um, by planning. So if you're interested, give me a holler because we're running, it's going to start within a month. That's going to be prime time. Um, the last thing we do is tax returns, and we're in the middle of our tax return extension rush, all right? We have uh, September 15th, which is two weeks from yesterday. It's actually the 15th on a Saturday, so it goes till Monday, um, is the due date for corporations. There's pretty good penalties after that date, so don't, don't miss, all right? And October 15th, if you've got an extension for an individual, is when you're, when you're due. Today, let's talk about how to analyze your promotion results. Most business owners feel like old P.T. Barnum, who famous, famously said, I waste half my advertising dollars. The only problem is I don't know which half. Secret lies with Peter Drucker, who, who if, you know, he was a management guru in the 60s, 70s, even into the 80s. Okay, a little further than that, I think I picked up some books that he, read after, that he wrote after that. His key famous saying is, what gets measured gets managed. And that's the key, all right? As simple as that. If you want to know what marketing is working for you, commit to only doing marketing with measurable results. In other words, results you can measure. You're too small to do image advertising. I mean, you can do it, but it should be along with something that you can measure, all right? And then, second thing, once you can measure it, make sure you calculate your rate of return on the investment, ROI, on every marketing campaign to make sure it's paying. To do this, it's really very simple. It's three steps. One, Add up the sales from the promotion. You should be able to tell who responded to your advertising or marketing campaign. Put some sort of code, all right? Even if you're running the name of the store, put a 10% coupon with a code for that particular medium. So if you're doing Google ads, they have to come in with that. If they, you know, well, Google ads, I'll tell you, but you still might not know who came in. Um, if you're putting things on Facebook, put a code, a coupon there, the bounce backs, uh, you put them in the bags when they leave, put a different code on that one. Um, your autoresponders, put a different code on that one. If you're doing TV ads, make sure that they have to bring in or tell you a, a secret word or something that's in the advertising, okay? Add additional sales amounts from your upselling efforts. So one of the things you need to do is if, you know, at best, you're going to just get your customer, I mean, you might break even with your advertising dollars and what it brings in. That's why upsells and cross-sales are so important. McDonald's, I remember reading uh, one of their famous, one, I remember reading somewhere that when they advertise, if you just walk in and order uh, you know, a regular cheeseburger or whatever it was, they were losing money. They needed to say, do you want fries with that? Well, that's your equivalent of do you want fries with that? What is gonna be your equivalent of do you want fries with that? Because that's where the profit's gonna be. Profit's gonna be there and getting the customers come back more often. That's why I spend so much time in my marketing and my coaching getting people to understand that they need to get their customers to come back more often, all right? And finally, the third thing, calculate your return on investment by adding the sales from the two steps above, the initial sale plus the, uh, the upsell, and dividing by the cost of the advertising or the marketing effort. 
So that the idea behind here is you're, you don't forget, you're buying customers too. Breaking even isn't wrong if you have a follow-up procedure, all right? So do that, and unlike P.T. Barnum, you will know which half of your advertising and marketing is working. From there, it's easy. Eliminate what isn't working and do more of what's making you money. We did that VK Medical. Um, Larry and Dora are good friends of mine. They're great people if you want to... If you have any needs for yourself or your parents or somebody else that needs home medical equipment, you need to call on them. But we did that and measured and cut out a lot of large part of their old fashioned media and spending more money and time on referrals and, and um, new media because that's what was working. All right. We didn't just blithely go on and on doing the same thing because that's how we always did it here and throwing money at things that didn't work. All right, eliminate what isn't working, do more of what is working, and just sit back and watch the profits come in. Hey, until next time, this is William Bilal saying, let's make this our most profitable year ever. Tessie says bye too. Thank you.